Hey collective, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So if you didn't know, um, the planet Uranus, I'm saying it that way so that there's no no issues, um, even though it's, I don't think that's how you actually pronounce it, but Uranus um, is in retrograde until January of 2025, and it's been retrograde since September 1st. And the planet is really the kind of planet that instills this need and desire for freedom and independence. It goes against the traditional. It's a little bit of a rebellious sort of planet. So it brings out a lot of that um, kind of just, you know, it brings that side of us that just makes us sometimes want to break the rules, right? And right now it is retrograde in the sign of Taurus. And Taurus is the opposite of everything I just said. Taurus is, you know, the sign of the, you know, well, I'm thinking actually of the Hierophant, right? So the Hierophant, not not Taurus, but the Hierophant, um, that card represents tradition, beliefs, um, you know, kind of sticking to the rules, creating a legacy, kind of following through, following the path um, to, you know, kind of develop something that is withstanding, long lasting. It's of a higher sort of level energy. So when we think about and, you know, maybe there's a reason why the Hierophant is attributed to Taurus. Um, but, you know, when we're thinking about Uranus being in retrograde, you know, I, I just want to kind of pick up on that energy because I find it interesting. And I do feel that collectively a lot of us are somewhat trying to figure out where we stand in certain things, right? In certain commitments. Are we actually looking for more independence or are we, com or are we becoming more comfortable with the current commitments that we have agreed to um, are we keeping our promises it's like there's a lot of interesting things that come through with your uranus so we're going to just kind of see what we get for the energy for the collective with that in mind three of cups and that's also something else is with that energy, it's like how we connect to others, what we believe is also going to be influenced by that retrograde energy, right? We may not be so um, interested in going with the flow of what society says. We may not be so easily convinced or, you know, manipulated to believe everything that is spread as the truth. You know, so I feel like this is also a reminder to not take everything that you hear as truth and as fact. Always do your own research. Always do your own investigating because there is going to be a lot of misinformation in, in general for a very long time. There's going to be just a lot of misinformation and that is going to kind of keep us on our toes when it comes to what we should retain and what we should ignore. And maybe right now in your own personal life, you're kind of going through a situation where you're realizing there's a whole lot of talk, a whole lot of chitter chatter and noise, but not much of it is actually genuine. And maybe you're trying to kind of weed out the truth from the lies, the deception and all of that. So we have the higher, uh, not the Hierophant, we have the Emperor, which is Aries, the Page of Cups, the Six of Swords and the Four of Cups. So. Again, I feel like with that emperor energy, this is about kind of knowing when to stand your ground, knowing when to enforce boundaries, knowing when to just kind of say, I'm going to go this way. I'm going to take this sort of action. I'm going to do what I feel is right um, and not really letting others influence or change your mind or make you feel, um, you know, that your decision making is wrong. Um, and I feel like with the Four of Cups, some of you are in the middle of trying to make a very important decision in your life. And right now, there could be some things that you're kind of trying to figure out with this sort of retrograde energy. Maybe some of you are trying to go against the traditional way when it comes to your career or your relationships or your business. And, you know, you may be kind of fighting whether or not that's the right thing to do. So I feel like with the Page of Cups, universe doesn't want you to fight yourself, more just maybe... Kind of make a list of pros and cons ask yourself what's the worst that can happen i feel like with the page of cups there's a lot of creativity coming through you know from this sort of rebellious energy that i think we should make the most out of we should explore it we should be open to it we should enjoy it and i feel like with the six of swords we're going to be you know kind of moving forward in a lot of interesting ways if we go ahead and stay open-minded 
But let's clarify the emperor. Five of cups. Five of cups. There, there's definitely maybe something that right now you feel very strongly about and you are afraid to let it out. You're afraid to voice this opinion because it is maybe against tradition. Maybe it's against your family's tradition. Maybe it's against what your parents want or what your loved ones want, your partner, whatever. It just kind of feels like part of you is very hesitant to share something that you feel very strongly about because of how you might be perceived or the reactions you might get. But to clarify the emperor, we have the six of pentacles, the ten of swords, and the ten of pentacles, which is interesting to kind of see this energy of almost finding that balance between being afraid of something and being empowered by it. And I feel like that ten of swords parallel that with that ten of pentacles says a lot. It's like you're trying to find the balance. You're trying to somehow be in between both worlds. The one that you want to respect, the one that you want to uphold, but then this new one that you want to be a part of. So some of you could be kind of going through, you know, this sort of transition in your life where it's like you really are excited about, you know, embracing some something new something maybe out of the norm something norm something maybe out of the norm for you specifically right um but it's like that ten of swords is like there's a lot of fear there there's a little bit of you know this worry about what's going to happen um but at the same time i feel like that ten of swords could also be maybe you um kind of recognizing that if you don't go for it or if you don't give yourself a chance, then you might have some regrets. So it just kind of depends on, you know, your unique situation. But let's go ahead and clarify the Four of Cups. And we have the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So you're definitely putting a lot of thought into this. Um, maybe you're overthinking a little bit, but we have the Fool, the Chariot, which is Cancer, and the Death card, which is Scorpio. So definitely feels like there is this very big motivation, this surge to take a leap of faith and start over, start fresh. I feel like a lot of you are going through a rebirth and you're now realizing that you're going through a rebirth and you don't maybe really know how to take it, how to handle it. Um, you know, maybe a lot of you are having epiphanies, you're having, you know, revelations, and it's all just a bit, just, it's all just a little bit much. Uh, but I feel like the universe doesn't want you to fear this sort of kind of, I don't know, I don't know how to explain the energy, but I feel like the universe doesn't want you to fear it. I feel like you should feel empowered, you should feel motivated. Um, and again, a lot of you are kind of taking this as a sign to do something really big, to do something life-changing, to go for something, to go for your dreams. I feel like a lot of you are pursuing your dreams no matter what. Um, and again, there's a lot of creativity in the air. There's a lot of rebellion. There's a lot of not wanting to go you know, through the traditional path when it comes to certain things. And that brings fear, brings anxiety. You know, there may be even a sense of guilt, you know, because it's like we're breaking the rules. We're not doing things the way that people expect us. But if it's for good, right, because that's also very important to mention, right? It's like as long as it's for a good reason, why should we be afraid to do something that's good for us? I mean, I think that's the big question. Um, I think that's maybe even what this you know, retrograde wants us to ask ourselves, why are we afraid of doing what's right or good for us? Um, why is, you know, society's, I guess, input so important to our personal decisions? Why are other people's input so important to our personal decisions? You know, why does it feel like half of our life is dedicated to everyone else but ourselves? These are the things that we need to ask and answer for us to really move forward. So really love that energy. And I think it definitely kind of resonates with that death card, being that it is all about a ego death, rebirth, embracing new beginnings. All right, let's clarify the six of swords. Four of wands. Four of wands. In order to move forward, we have to be okay with a little bit of maybe discomfort, 
maybe we have to be okay with placing boundaries maybe we have to be okay with taking a new path taking new steps you know some of you could be you know embracing this new energy by recognizing that it's never too late to learn so with this page of pentacles nine of pentacles king of swords some of you could be entering a new career um, as a second or third career right so i kind of see this as you saying okay i have a lot of experience and a lot of wisdom in this one thing but i'm not afraid to try something new right it's like you're saying it's never too late um, you're never too old to learn it's never too late to try something new or i don't know i kind of feel like with this king of swords he's really kind of seeing this as a challenge for himself to try something that 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 has the potential to make him happy regardless of what it looks like right it's like we have to kind of forget about what something looks like and focus more on how it feels so if it brings a sense of satisfaction if it brings a sense of meaning and purpose to life then why not take that chance why not go for it why not get started i feel like the six of swords right now specifically for the context of this reading is saying time is going to pass anyway so why not do it or why not pass it doing something you love doing something you enjoy right no matter what it looks like so really love this for you hope you take it all in and if you like this reading and it resonated please give it a like please subscribe and i will see you in the next one